This video is an excellent example done by professionals that are licensed in the restoration of ancient buildings or bâtiments, basically old buildings in France. I've included subtitles and we'll add corrections as we go along. This is simply saying double just means double up a wall in uh, hempcrete or hemp lime. Beton is concrete, so beton de chaux et chanvre, chaux is lime, chanvre is hemp. This is saying, and we're going to teach you about uh, isolating or insulating a wall. This is talking about doing two techniques. They're going to show briefly a spraying, but the entire video is really concentrating on casting against a stone wall. This gentleman is well known in the industry in France, and his expertise is the restoration of ancient buildings. Now let's do a quick stop here in a second. So here he's. This is a really brief insert with a spray machine, and this is the current iteration of 3CM, which is the hemp crete or hemp clay spray machine that uh, William Stanwick uses and Graham Durant uses. It is expensive. I'll do a completely separate review of that machine and its system. But this is, that nozzle is its final iteration. I have another video that shows its original nozzle and some of the applications that could be used with the original nozzle that this current nozzle cannot employ. Now this entire channel, Ribat Bio, is extraordinary. There's a lot of interesting techniques. They're very well done. They show tools, techniques, great info. You will need to do subtitles and do the auto English translate, and I'll show that. It's fairly easy to do. You click on the CC link, and then you click on the settings link, but I'll do a separate video for that as well. Let's continue. The tools. This is self-explanatory. Now what we're seeing here, that, that tool that we just saw is a float, but doubles as a hawk for many of the uh, hemp creators in France. And obviously, hat, mask, gloves, lunettes, or safety glasses, which they don't show. The materials, now they're using tested match pairs. This is Bate Chanvre, but it's St. Astures, who's manufactured and they've white labeled it for them. And they have really clear instructions, which I think is exemplary. If you go to the St. Astor's website, they include a complete page that is in English as well as in other languages that uh, gives you the, uh, uh, the uh, measurements that you would need, whether it's floor, roof, uh, walls, etc. Now, what this title says is this is. Uh, a matched pair of herd and binder that are done to the professional regulations or C and C, which uh, simply means construire en chambre, which is their USHBA organization, uh, which is vastly different. All right, so Lyon valide. CNC, Construire en Chambre, their organization, and that just means that this is a uh, approved binder. Now it looks like they're using one by two or whatever can sizes used in uh, centimeters. Si le mural ne pas la One thing they do say is chip out all of the exemple, uh, cement coating that might be there. S'il s'agit d'un revêtement bloquant la vapeur d'eau, comme un enduit ciment, on l'enlève complètement. Le mur est ensuite dépoussiéré et humidifié si nécessaire. That just means uh, putting a, a, a pour assurer la liaison entre la paroi rapportée en béton frame de chambre et le mur existant. 
On commence par fixer trois litos horizontaux en bas, au milieu et en haut de mur. Cette technique permet de respecter un écartement entre la paroi et les litos. This is critical. Everybody knows this is critical. One of the first more popular buildings that was done in Hempcrete did not use framing techniques or cross cross bracing techniques to hold the Hempcrete in, and it was actually falling out at one point. More on that later. Pour que le chanvre les enveloppe entièrement. Par ailleurs, cette technique permet de percer plus facilement et en faisant moins de trous que si on utilisait des vis longues. And that just means installing the, uh, in the wood sont posés verticalement à 15 cm du mur. Now this device, I'm going to show you another video that uh, the individual is using HES mix, which uh, you can get from the HES guys or Phelan or Finley Sabin. But this bracing, I think, is a very interesting tool. There's a better shot of it in another video that we'll do. I think this could be replicated or uh, used in the United States for framing. So let's look at the technique. Le coffrage, car le béton de chanvre est très léger, il n'y a donc pas de poussée. Le coffrage est un contreplaqué de 60 cm de hauteur, faisant la longueur du panneau à réaliser. Un contreplaqué noir dit filmé convient parfaitement car il est lisse et non adhérent. Right, let's stop here. You can see this is a metal bar, metal bar, and there's another one at the end. This is a little vice. You wank it to the side and it loosens up. We'll see this entire process here in a moment. Il ne doit pas être haut afin de permettre un remplissage manuel soigné. One thing that's not shown in this particular video is the gobti, which is a slurry that's sprayed against the wall or thrown against the wall for adherence. Le mélange chaud chanvre est déversé, puis réparti sur une hauteur d'environ 10 cm. On appuie légèrement dessus avec la main protégée par un gant ou avec un lito, en insistant. Pay close attention to what they're suggesting here in the in the in installation. Attention à ne pas tasser. They're never overpressing this material. On va déverser le béton de chanvre derrière le coffrage, mais on va essayer de bien le répartir partout. On va soigner la répartition. Mais ce qu'on veut, c'est quand même enfermer de l'air dedans de façon à avoir un isolant. Donc, il est hors de question qu'on le tasse ou qu'on l'appuie, puisqu'à ce moment-là, on va consommer plus de matière, mais avec moins d'air, donc une moins bonne résistance thermique. Donc, ça serait contre-productif de le tasser. La banche peut être enlevée instantanément si l'on fonctionne avec une seule banche. Elle sera glissée et repositionnée en prenant soin de recouvrir environ 10 cm le remplissage précédent. Ceci permet de ne pas déformer le chanvre mis en place précédemment. Il faut compter plus de trois mois pour un séchage à cœur du béton de chanvre. On ne va pas oublier que pendant ce temps-là, on va tenir la pièce hors gel, mais surtout bien ventilée. Les résistances thermiques, elles vont dépendre euh, des couples, liant chanvre validé. Dans l'usage mur, on va tourner sur un lambda aux environs de 0,10, 0,12, plutôt dans ces ordres-là, donc comme un bois, euh, comme un morceau de bois à peu près. L'effet de paroi chaude sur la régulation de vapeur d'eau, il y a des phénomènes qui se passent, qui fait que le béton de chanvre est meilleur isolant que ce qui paraît dans les calculs. C'est pas très performant. Yeah, and I think all of us know that the insulative qualities perform better. Overall performance is better because of the uh, ability to modulate humidity, which is the big thing. And not only does it insulate, but it modulates humidity. We see the same action in Cobb structures. We see the same action in CEB, compressed earth block structures au niveau isolation en lui-même, au niveau résistance thermique, mais les phénomènes exothermiques et endothermiques dus à l'évaporation, à la condensation interne, dus 
au chanvre. Hein. C'est parce que le chanvre, c'est une paille avec plein de petits tuyaux où sont passées la sève, qui a un comportement à l'eau atypique et qui nous amène euh, ces, ces qualités-là. Par rapport à l'isolant en laine, un des intérêts, c'est qu'on a du végétal, mais il est compris dans une gangue de chauffe. Il est minéralisé par le liant qu'on amène. On sait qu'on n'aura jamais de pourriture et qu'on va être capable de gérer un peu d'humidité du mur. Si on a des problèmes de remontée capillaire, on ne va pas résoudre les problèmes. Mais on va supporter beaucoup plus de variations ou des choses comme ça. Et on va avoir un effet bénéfique parce qu'on va permettre au mur de s'assécher bien plus qu'avec n'importe quel isolant en laine. Now, one important thing to understand is that they're using tested match pairs. And the binder is different. And this is a, a formulator's done it. And that doesn't mean that's the only way to do it, but they know the results from testing. And the reason why the French came up with the CNC grade herd sizing, so you could have replicatable results with the tested match pairs, whether it's in the lab or whether it's in research. That doesn't mean you can build, you can't build out a spec. You can certainly do it. You can come up with your own binder, but this enabled the insurance companies, actuaries, businesses to build with confidence. And that's just giving you simple instructions. And the, this is pretty much over and shows some of the individuals that are involved. Okay, that's the first of three videos that I'll be doing this morning relative to casting directly on stone, brick, and wood.